What's up, members of the Barrio? It's John, back in New York. And staying in a hotel here can be very expensive. The number one question I've received from you, the viewer, is how can I find cheap accommodations when I visit New York City? Today, I'm gonna do my best to answer that question. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications if you're new to this channel for more tips and tricks from New York City. Here we go. So I admit this is not the cheapest city in the world to come visit. And I'm gonna lead off by saying, if you expect to come to New York City for New Year's Eve and stay at a hotel in Midtown Manhattan for under $100 a night, you're either crazy or, yeah, you're just crazy. The easiest way to get a cheaper rate in New York City is to avoid the absolute peak seasons, which would be the Christmas and New Year's time, as well as in the summer. Your best deals are going to be in the dead of winter, uh, after New Year's. If you come during the week, it's gonna be even cheaper. But let's get to some cost-saving techniques that I've got for you. Tip number one. Check out the website, eurocheapo.com. This is very similar to booking.com, except they put the highest rated, cheaper hotels at the top of the list. And we're actually gonna go through this together. I'm gonna put in some sample dates and show you what I would book if I was you. Let's say you're planning a little Valentine's Day weekend escape. We're gonna punch in those dates right now and bam, we've got something. The World Center Hotel, only $105 a night, pre-tax, and you are in a great neighborhood in the heart of downtown Manhattan in the financial district. The ratings look great, 8.6 out of 10. It says the staff is friendly, so we could have a winner right there. Another one I liked was this, Hotel 31 in Gramercy. It's a shared bathroom, but it's under $100 a night. Can't beat that location, and the ratings also look really good. Now let's find the absolute cheapest place we can. $55 a night in Chinatown with a shared bathroom. So a lot of the cheaper hotels in Manhattan are going to be in Chinatown. Location's pretty central for downtown, but it's only got a 4.6 out of 10. Big red flag. So the rooms aren't exactly romantic for Valentine's Day weekend. And when a place has awful ratings, you need to read the reviews really closely. First review's fine. Ah, uh, there we go. Filled with illegal substances and women that make love for money. Pros, nothing. Cons, everything. Probably not the best place for families. Buyer beware if the ratings are low. Tip number two, consider a hostel in New York. And this tip even goes for my older viewers out there. We're gonna go on hostelworld.com and instead of looking for a dorm room, we're just gonna look for a private room. So we've got the Chelsea International Hostel, $50 a night. That's prime real estate right there for a private single. A double, $71 a night. Now you are sharing a bathroom, but that is some prime real estate in Manhattan right there. I think there's a big misconception that hostels are only for backpackers. Booking a private room in a hostel is one of the best travel techniques that I know of, not just in New York City, but in any city in the world. Tip number three and shameless plug, if you wanna get $40 off your first Airbnb stay, check out my link down below in the description and sign up through that. The best way to get a cheap rate on an Airbnb in New York City is to stay not in an entire apartment, but to rent just a private room in somebody else's place. We're gonna go to airbnb.com together right now and plug in those dates, February 15th to February 17th. And voila, $90 a night for a room in the middle of Manhattan. You're probably sharing a bathroom in most of these situations. Not awful if you look at some of these rates. If you wanna save even more money, head to one of the outer boroughs like Queens, a great neighborhood like Astoria you can find spots, a room for 50 to $60 a night, and you can be as close as 10 or 15 minutes away from Manhattan by subway. Another area I would recommend a lot, especially for my younger viewers who enjoy the nightlife, would be Williamsburg, Brooklyn. There are some great deals on Airbnb out there. 
An important note, read the reviews closely before booking any Airbnb. I did an entire video about how to book Airbnb. I'm gonna put a card to it up above. If you're curious, make sure to check that out. If you absolutely positively are broke, and traveling to New York City, you could attempt couchsurfing.com, which is where you stay with a local host on a couch, spare bedroom, a futon on the floor, you name it, they've got it. Not the easiest option to get. I have actually used couchsurfing.com in the past. It is a great way to meet locals, I will say that, but for single female travelers out there in particular, please be extra careful who you decide to stay with, make sure that they have a lot of references. That reference system, very important as well in couch surfing. Tip number five, Hotels Tonight. This is an app on your phone and it basically puts you in touch with hotels that have extra rooms at discounted rates uh, within 24 hours of checking in. I wouldn't recommend this unless it was a last ditch situation. Let's say your connecting flight was missed or your flight was canceled. I've personally used this app once in Rome when my flight was canceled, but you can find some absolute steals in New York City. Uh, let me give you some examples of tonight. All right, so we've got the Chelsea Inn at $71. The Wyndham in Chinatown, a nice hotel chain, $89. The Gatsby Hotel in Nolita, a nice place, $89. Certainly some deals to be had here. This really does work best though on weeknights. Uh, I would personally not rely on using this to book more than one or two nights, but it could save you in a pinch, trust me. Guys, tell me in the comments, did I miss anything? What's your best technique to get a budget stay when you come to New York or any other city? I'm curious. Make sure to subscribe if you're new to this channel and want more tips and tricks from New York City and beyond. Guys, thank you so much for watching as always. Until next time.